Hello everyone, my name is Kalika Bhardwaj. I am assistant professor at IMT College of Management. Today I am going to discuss the topic number system and codes with you. So first of all, I will start it with instruction. Uh, as you can see, it refers to a process that is achieved by using a discrete unit, which means that dividing something big into small parts so that it can be understood easily. So there are four types of number systems. First one is decimal number system, which we use in our daily language. Another one is binary number system. We all know that computer works in binary language. So it is the language of, this is for um, computer. Another one is octal number system. And last one is hexadecimal number system. So let's see what are these number systems. So as you can see here, binary has the base of two and the digits come in it are zero and one. The whole number will be described in zero and one series only. Then another one is decimal number. <clears throat> but, uh, it's, it has the base of 10 and the digits come in it are zero to nine. Then last one, is, another one is octal number, which has the base of eight and the digits come here in is zero to seven. And the last one is hexadecimal number, which has the base of 16. Here you can see the digits are up to <coughs> zero to nine. And afterwards, if the reminder comes in 10, 11, 12, so 10 is denoted as A, 11 is denoted as B, and then C is uh, denoted for 13, 14, 15, and so on. Till 15 we take an alphabet till F. So here you can see 59,563. Uh, in your earlier classes, in your small classes, in first and second, you are asked to read it as ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So here you can see if we write, can we write this three as ten to the power three into ten to the power zero as whatever the power is zero, it is it converts into one, and then three into one is equal to three. So again, here six into the ten to the power one, it will become sixty. 5 into 10 to the power 2. So here you can see uh, what I will show you. What I want to really show you is you can see the power of 10 are increasing constantly in this. So uh, here you can see 10 to the power 160. When we will add all these numbers, what we will get is this digit 59,563. So this is decimal, basically this is decimal number in which uh, you can see the digits are increasing in the multiples of 10. And this is the digit which, to, which we use in our daily life. And now we will move forward what is binary. So here a decimal number I have given and uh, I will convert it to, into a binary digit. So I have taken 52 for an example. So we will divide 52 by 2 because we are converting it into binary. So the base of binary is 2. So we will divide it by 2. So when we will divide 52 by 2, it will go 26 times and the remainder will be 0. As it is an even number, the remainder will be 0. If there will be odd number, the remainder will be 1. This you all know. So again, I will divide 26 by 2. Then it will go 13 times and the remainder will be zero then again i will divide 13 by 2 it will go up to six times and the remainder will be one you can check the answer if this multiplied by this and the remainder is added into this the answer should be this so you can check it while doing the questions if you have any confusion in initial stage and then again we will move forward we will divide six by two it will go three times and the remainder will be zero then again, we will divide 3 by 2. It will go one time and the remainder will be 1. Now, uh, this is the binary digit we have got. But how we will write the answer in this? In binary, in conversions, number system, we use to write the answer from downward to upward. So we will write it as 1, 1, 0, 1, 
zero zero and this shows that this is a binary number as the base two is written over here if the base would not be written then it will be considered as decimal number only so it is mandatory to write base here so that it can be easily understood by anyone as anyone else that this is binary octal or hexadecimal in binary the base two will be given in octal the base eight will be given and in hexadecimal the base 16 will be given so let's move forward now we will convert 43 uh, one more example i am showing you here 43 how we will convert 43 into binary so you can check here it will go up to 21 times as if we will if i will multiply 22 into 2 it will be 44 which will be more than that but i have to take less than this so that remainder can be either 0 or 1 now again i will divide 21 by 2 it will go 10 times and the remainder will be 1 then again, I will divide 2, sorry, 10 by 2. It will go up to <coughs> 5 times and the reminder will be 0. Then again, we will increase this. We will divide 5 by 2. It will go 2 times and the reminder will be 1. <coughs> and then again, I will divide 2 by 2 it will go one time and the remainder will be 0 so now what will be the answer the answer will be 1 0 1 0 1 1 to the base 2 so this is 43 written in binary language now let's move forward how can we check if it we have converted it right or the examiner could also ask to convert the binary number into decimal so how we will do that we'll move forward to the next slide <clears throat> first of all we will check no sorry first of all we will check if the no, digit is given in decimal then how we will convert this as i have already shown you how we will convert 43 but if the examiner has asked this question to convert in binary so how we will continue this we will check in this video uh, now it is 57.57 we will take 43 will be done as same i have shown you just now and after point, we'll do this procedure. We will use this procedure. So 0. 0.57 is written down here. We will multiply it by 2. We will get the answer 1.14. Then again, we will take this 1.14 and multiply it by 2. The answer will be 0. 0.28. If there is nothing before point, then we can write down it as 0. <clears throat> again, we will take this 0. 0.28 and we will multiply it by 2. The answer will be 0 0.56. Again, I will take this 56 and multiply it by 2. We, the answer will be 1.12. We can stop it here or we can do it forward as much as the answer is asked to convert or if the answer is given in multiple choice question. So you can check the option and correct and take the answer and move forward. So now what we will do here in 43 i have told you that answer will be written from downward to upward but in this case the answer will be written from upward to downward only so 1001 to the base 2 as it is in binary number so i hope it is clear for you all kindly do not confuse please make sure to convert first this then this now we will check how we are converting from a binary number into a decimal number. As I have told you earlier, that in decimal number, power of 10 increases, but in binary number, power of 2 increases. So I will show you here how we will convert this. So I have written this number 110100. We will start from here as 
you have already i have already told one stands hundred thousand here also the power of two will increase in this way so here i will i have written zero into two's power zero in earlier slide i have shown you three into tens power zero so two's power zero will be one zero into one will be zero only we can do this or when we are doing it in exam we can write the last digit as it is even that is also okay from here i will start to zero as this digit is zero zero into two's power one then again one into two's power two zero into two's power three one into two's power four and one into two's power five so what is two's power five 32 2 power 4 is 16. Then we will multiply it 0 into 2 power 3. 2 power 3 is 8. But when we, we will multiply it by 0, it will become 0. Then again 2 power 2, 4. Then 0, then 0. When we will add all these digits, we will get 52. This was the conversion which we have done in our first slide, which I converted 52 into binary digit in this procedure so this answer i have taken so you can check in your initial stage when you don't understand if you are doing it right or wrong or the examiner may ask to convert from binary to decimal also so now one more thing what if the answer the examiner has also asked as we you have seen 43 point something something i have given you to change in binary now here also the examiner may ask the binary point digit number decimal number to convert into decimal numbers that is 10 to the tens power so how we will do this for before point in my earlier slide, like I will start from 0 into 2 power 0, 0 into 2 power 1, 1 into 2 power 2, 0 into 2 power 3, then 1 into 2 power 4, then 1 into 2 power. The question is just same. I have just added this 0 0.101 here. Now, the thing is what we will do for this. For this, we will start from here on only 1 into 2 power minus 1. 0 into 2 power minus 2 or 1 into 2 power minus 3. You can also write it as 1 into 2 power minus 2 can be written this like this. Then 0 into 2 power minus 2 will be 0 only. Then again last 1 into 2 power minus 3 will be this. Now you can take the LCM of this. And when you will multiply 5 by 8, you will get the answer 0. 0.625. Or you can do in this way also that 1 upon 2 is written as 0. 0.5. Then again 0 and then 1.8 is written as 1.25. You can add all these digits and write it after point digit 0. 0.625. This will be the answer. So this is the procedure of binary number which is given in point to convert in decimal number so this is a decimal number hope you are getting it right so let's move forward towards next conversion that is decimal number to an octal number now we will check how we can do this. So here the digit is given 378 and we have to convert it into an octal digit. So 378 in octal the base is 8 so we will divide it divide it by 8. 378 when divided by 8 it will go up to 47 times and the reminder will be 2. Again we will divide it 47 by 8 it will go up to 5 times. See, you can see 8 into 5 is 40 plus 7 is 47. So the reminder will be 7. Here I have already told you in my first slide that we can take the digit from 0 to 7. 
as the base is 8. So reminders from 0 to 7 can be taken. Now, 378 when in written in octal will be 5, 7, 2 to the base 8. This identifies that this is an octal digit. Now, if we want to check or the examiner has given this digit to convert it into decimal number, how we will do that? Here, as in uh, decimal number, the power of 10 increases. In binary number, the power of 2 increases. In octal number, the power of 10 will increase. Sorry, 8 will increase. So, sorry. The power of 8 will increase in octal number. So, again, we will do 2 into 8 power 0, 7 into 8 power 1, 5 into 8 power 2. So, again, this will be 1. 2 into 1 is 2. Or I have told you earlier, we can write it down as say. Now, 8 power 1 is 8 into 7, 56. 8 to the power 2 is 64 into 5 is 320. When we will divide, oh sorry, add all these numbers, we will get 378 to the base 10. Hope you are getting it right. If you are confused, please do watch one conversion at a time. Try these questions, then move forward. For those who are watching first time. <clears throat> now we will see how we will convert hexadecimal numbers. Uh, here you can see the digit I have taken is 2598 to the base 10. That means 2598. Now we will convert it into hexadecimal number. So it is 2598. We will divide when we will divide it by 16, it will go up to 162 times and the remainder will be 6. Again, we will divide 162 by 16, it will go 10 times and the remainder will be 2. But as I have already shown you here in my first slide, here you can see I have taken the digits up to 9 only and what I told that 10 will be denoted as A, 11 as B, C as 12, D as 13, 14 and 15. So if the reminder would come after 9, what we will write? We will not write 10, we will write A, B, 11, C, 12. For 13, we will write D. For 14, we will write E. For 15, we will write F. And here, we only take up to 15. Means up to F, not more than that. Let's move to the words, the question. Yes, here. So, you can see, I have written 10. What we will uh, denote 10? A. So we will write here also we will take the answer from downwards to upwards that is A26 to the base 16. Again we will do this. We can write it as 6. Same because 16 to the power 0 is 1. 6 into 1 is 6. We will <coughs> write here 2 into 16 power 1. Again while converting we will not write A. We will write 10 only because we are here converting it into a decimal number. We will write 10. Then 16 to the power 2. 16 to the power 2 is 256. Multiplied by 10, 2560. Then 16. 2 into 16 is 32. 6, we have already written it earlier here. The answer will be 2598. Students, I would like to request you, please do not confuse, wa watch one conversion at a time, try its questions, then move forward towards another conversion. It might con be confusing to, uh, for you to watch all these conversions together. Also, I would like to request you all to learn this <coughs> the slide which I have shown here. Please do keep in mind. Learn this 
then only move forward towards conversion especially i would like to say for hexadecimal number please do it by <coughs> please learn it keep in your mind that we will not write 10 most of the students make mistake while converting this they used to write it as 10 sorry they used to write it as 10 11 in class test also many students have been confused in this so please do not confuse in hexadecimal number 10 is written as a 11 is b c c is written for 13 and so on please do not confuse uh, watch one conversion at a time again i am telling you and try these questions then move forward towards another conversion i hope you like the video thank you so much